Jack Thompson, good morning again on Breakfast. Good morning, Fran. You've selected 11 poems for this um, favourite Australian Poems album from among some of our great Australian classics, Banjo Patterson, C.J. Dennis. Some names slightly less well-known, though terrific poems. Yes, uh, there's said Hanrahan because... uh, when we presented the albums of ba- Patterson and Lawson uh, and C.J. Dennis, on each occasion people would say, you know, what about Hanrahan? And also, what about Tumba Bloody Rumba? And we went looking for Tumba Bloody Rumba and couldn't find it. In fact, the proper name of the poem is The Integrated Adjective and it's written by John O'Grady, who was uh, Nino Culotta, uh, of, uh, who wrote uh, the... Uh, they're a weird mob. They're a weird mob. That's exactly right. Yeah. And even the uh, the other one that people were talking to you about, the John O'Brien um, poem, said Hanrahan, which is on here. A lot of us know that from the tag, we'll all be ruined. That's right. Hanrahan. We'll all be ruined before the year is out. Now, obviously, this idea of Jack Thompson reading poetry, recording poetry, has really taken off because this is your, your fifth album of poems now. Absolutely. Well, we've had so much demand for them. They're being played in schools. Uh, I have I had a wonderful meeting the other day with uh, Dick Smith who said, uh, I love your uh, banjo Patterson. He said, I play it in my helicopter and I have visitors come in, we fly out over the outback and I say, listen to this. <laughs> Do you travel around the country reading the poems? What kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, we're getting fabulous feedback. Uh, I'm invited to... Uh, to really to charity performances of the poetry. Uh, I've uh, done The Man from Snow River something like 80-odd times and uh, next week at the uh, at a charity performance here in Sydney, I'm required to give that one again and uh, Clancy. And, in fact, The Ballad of the Drover, which is on uh, this album, Lawson's Ballad of the Drover, which was a favourite of mine right from the time I was in primary school. I'd love to hear them all now, but I don't think we've got quite that much time on breakfast. We'll try and get some in perhaps before the end of the year and we will get you to read one poem in a moment. But I've just been wondering, after all this reading of poetry you've been doing over the last few years as part of these recordings, have you been tempted to write any? Have a go at writing any yourself? Oh, I've I've written some verse uh, but over the years. But I think uh, my father, John Thompson, uh, was a poet, a published poet, He and Kenneth Slesser and Guy Howarth were the editors of the first uh, Penguin Anthology of Australian Verse published in the 50s. And uh, I think it was a bit intimidating having such a great poet as a father. Many years have passed though, Jack. Now's your time. (laughs) I hope so. Maybe. All right. Well, which one are you going to give us? What are you going to read for us today? Uh, What about the integrated adjective, John O'Grady's so-called tumba bloody rumba? Fantastic. I was down the Riverina knocking around the towns a bit and occasionally resting with a schooner in me mitt. And on one of these occasions, when the bar was pretty full and the local blokes were arguing a sorted kind of bull, I heard a conversation, most peculiar in its way. It's only in Australia you'd hear a joker say, How you bloody been, you drongo? (laughs) Haven't seen you for a week. And your mate was looking for you when you come in from the creek. He was looking up at Ryan's and around at Bloody Joe's and even at the Royal where his bloody never goes. And the other bloke says, seen him, owed him half a bloody quid, forgot to give it back to him, but now I bloody did. Could have used the thing me bloody self. Been off the bloody booze up at Tumba Bloody Rumba, shooting Kanga Bloody Roos. Now, the bar was pretty quiet and everybody heard the peculiar integration of this adjectival word, but no one there was laughing. And me, I wasn't game, so I just sits back and lets them drink and think I spoke the bloody same. Then someone else was interested to know just what he got, how many kanga bloody roos he went and bloody shot. And the shooting bloke says, things are crook. The drought's too bloody tough and 42 by 7, that's good or bloody enough. And as this polite rejoinder seemed to satisfy them of and everybody stopped listening and got on with the job, which was drinking beer and arguing and talking of the heat, of bogging in the bitumen in the middle of the street. But as for me, I'm here to say the interesting piece of news was tumba bloody rumba, shooting kanga bloody ruse.
That's fantastic. <laughs> and most of us probably know it as Tumba Bloody Rumba, but it's actually called The Integrated Adjective by John O'Grady. Read there, read there very finely by Jack Thompson. Jack, thanks so much for joining us again Thank on you, Breakfast. Thank you, Fran. Jack on, Thompson. Yeah. And Jack Thompson, favourite Australian poems, is out on CD through Fine Poets. And I've got the next idea for Jack. I want him to record C.J. Dennis's book for kids. I reckon that'd go off like a rocket. You're listening to ABC Radio National Breakfast.